Welcome back to Mental Math. This equation looks simple, but it's a classic trap. Most people find one or two solutions, but miss the complete set. To solve this, we need to think like a detective and investigate every possibility for how an expression of the form a to the power of b can equal 1. Our first case is the most common one. Any non-zero number raised to the power of zero is one. This means we can set the exponent equal to zero with the crucial condition that the base must not be zero. So we take our exponent, x squared minus nine, and set it equal to zero. To solve for x, we first need to isolate the x squared term. We add nine to both sides of the equation. Now, to solve for x, we take the square root of both sides, remembering to include both the positive and negative roots. This gives us x equals plus or minus the square root of 9. The square root of 9 is 3, so we have two potential solutions from this case. x equals 3 and x equals negative 3. However, we must verify that the base is not 0 for these values. First, let's check x equals 3. The base x minus 3 becomes 3 minus 3, which is 0. This leads to the form 0 to the power of 0, which is undefined. Therefore, x equals 3 is an extraneous solution. Next, let's check x equals negative 3. The base becomes negative 3 minus 3, which is negative 6. Since the base is not 0, this is a valid solution. We found our first answer. The second case is straightforward. 1 raised to any power is 1. The exponent can be any real number as long as it's defined. So we set our base, x minus 3, equal to 1. To solve for x, we isolate it. We add 3 to both sides of the equation. This gives us x equals 4. The exponent is well-defined for this value, so this is our second valid solution. This is the trickiest case, and the one most often forgotten. Negative 1 raised to an even integer power is 1. So we can set the base to negative 1, but we must then verify that the exponent is an even integer. Setting the base x minus 3 to negative 1 and adding 3 to both sides gives a potential solution of x equals 2. Now for the crucial check, we must evaluate the exponent x squared minus 9 at x equals 2. Substituting 2 into the expression, 2 squared is 4, and 4 minus 9 is negative 5. Negative 5 is an odd integer, not an even one. The condition is not met, therefore x equals 2 is not a solution. Let's gather all the valid solutions we found from our exhaustive case analysis. From our first case, after checking the base, we found the solution x equals negative 3. From our second case, we found the solution x equals 4. The third case, after checking the exponent, did not yield a valid solution. Therefore, after a complete and careful analysis of all three cases, we find that there are exactly two solutions to this equation, which belong to the set containing negative 3 and 4. Thanks for watching. This problem shows why systematic case analysis is so powerful in mathematics. Most people only find one solution but by carefully examining all the ways an exponent can equal one, we discovered the complete picture. If you enjoyed this methodical approach to problem solving, hit that like button and subscribe for more mathematical detective work. See you next time.